the Waynedale Kroger where it all happened. Now, Troyce, you spoke with family members today. How do they say they'll remember the victim? Yes, Bree, while Waynedale is a small community, tonight it shows it has a really big heart. For the past few hours, dozens of people have been coming to this Kroger, leaving flowers, teddy bears, lighting candles, all for a woman who made their day better just by coming to the grocery store. Now, while most of the people here knew the victim, we are withholding her name until police release her name, or release her identity. Juan Nieto was overcome with emotion. Watching everyone honor his aunt at a vigil outside the Wayne Dill Kroger left him at a loss for words. I can't describe everything she meant to me. Even community members who didn't know her well say it's a tragedy like no other, stabbed to death while doing her job. Amy Davis, co-founder of Justice Accountability and Victim Advocacy nonprofit, says violence like this is unacceptable. She was just at work. She wasn't doing anything to anybody. You know what I mean? So that, to me, is the surprise element. She did not bring any violence on herself. Mariana Nino is a crew member at the McDonald's across the street. She fondly remembers the victim coming in and ordering dinner with a smile on her face. Well, she was one of our regulars, and she was super sweet, always in the drive through complimenting, and she would always uh, volunteer to do surveys for us so we could get some extra money on our check. And she was just a really nice person. And despite all of this, Nieto just wants his aunt to be remembered as the kind and caring woman he grew up with. She was a great woman. She was a great woman. Um, there's nothing more shocking I could say. We also heard tonight from Kroger that it will be offering counseling services to all of its associates. And the store will remain closed while the investigation is ongoing. But again, this vigil is still up, and so we will expect to see people continue to leave notes, say prayers, and flowers here. And we will keep you updated as more information comes in. Until then, live at Kroger in Waynedale, I'm Troy Grant, Fox 55 News. Truly a tragedy. Thank you for that report, Troy.